When we are broken and we kneel before the dais of death and our hearts, minds, and souls require rest, when the solace of our inner existence is intruded upon and life itself, once a breath, has left the depths of our lungs, as a breath there and gone, forever gone, never to return again. May we find peace and love in the space of time everlasting, for life and love are great, but can be chastising at times. And may we know a certain sense of heartache and pain, for the world is deep and sometimes we find that others can be vain. But know that this is the way we cannot give up, falter, or lose hope. We must go down into the dungeons of our wounds and arise anew. We are kings. We are queens of our own inner truths. We must find our truths, the deep central statutes that hold in times of war and in times of destruction in our lives. Let us be at peace, as peace is sometimes not kind. We can search the earth over for a solution to our pain, but pain will always invade the mind. It is what we do with our inner divides that determines the ideals we live in. Retribution is a soul consciousness that iterates a great love. But as I said, love can be invasive if we resist. It persists no matter the cost, but the cost can be heavy. The internal damage caustic, find something to hold on to or else your pain may take you inside and burn your mind. The remnants of a darkness once led can turn the highest of lights into death. So do not falter. But if you do, remember that he loves you, and he will always love you. This you can believe is true. Amen.